In this exercise, we are asked to determine if the following series converges or diverges. And if it converges, we are asked to find upper and lower bounds for the sum. So recall that we can use the integral test here, which says that if this integral converges, then so does the series. So we can find that this is the same thing as the limit as b goes to infinity of this integral. Which, recall that the antiderivative of 1 over x squared plus 1 is arctangent or inverse tangent. So that is the same as, again, the limit as b goes to infinity of as we evaluate it from 0 to b. So and that is the same thing. Oops. Just the limit as b goes to infinity of the inverse tan of b minus the inverse tangent of 0. Well, the inverse tangent of 0 is just 0. And we can essentially plug infinity in for b here, because as b goes to infinity, the inverse tangent of b approaches pi over 2. So we see that this limit and this integral converge to pi over 2. So we see that, yes, the series does converge. So now we want to try to find lower and upper bounds for the sum. Recall that we can find those bounds with integral from 0 to infinity of 1 over x squared plus 1 dx. It's going to be less than or equal to the sum of the series. We'll just leave it at that for now. Which in turn is less than or equal to f evaluated at the lower limit, which in this case is 0, plus the same integral that we had before. And from here, this is fairly simple. We already found what this integral evaluates to, so we can just plug that in. We find that pi over 2 is less than or equal to the series, which is less than or equal to f of 0. So we plug in 0 for 1 over x squared plus 1. 1 over 0 plus 1, that's just 1, plus the same integral again, pi over 2. That gives us our bounds.